Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel OS VFX. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create semicircle infographic slide in PowerPoint. I have got I've created four uh, semicircles here. Circle one, the option given here, and the description. And I have similarly I have created the similar slide, which is uh, uh, in this design options. And then the third design is like this. So I'm just going to show you how to create this slide in PowerPoint. To add the oval shape, go to insert shapes and select this circle hollow. Draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key. Reduce the width and maybe I'll just make maybe this much size. Align center, align middle, make it no outline. Now I'm just going to cut the circle to half. For that go to insert tab, select shape, rectangle and draw the rectangle to the half and then select the rectangle sorry the oval shape first the circle hollow and then the rectangle under format tabs go to merge shape and say subtract. So you have got the half circle is there now. Okay. Now I'm just going to make this kind of effect where it is coming out from inside the slides. For that I'm just going to use one small rectangle. I'll give a white color and shape outline no outline and I'll go to format shapes. Go to shadow effect and then I will add say this shadow which is offset right okay you can just increase maybe the distance and you can just blur it all right so for this to hide this one i'm just going to create one more rectangle and just draw the rectangle exactly on top of that one and make it no outline and give as white color Alright, so this will look something like this. So same thing, I'm just going to copy it here, press Ctrl D and bring it here. Alright, now I'm going to add one more circle. For that, press Ctrl D and just make it here and select all and you can just bring it down. So my third circle and maybe four circle so i don't have uh, enough space so i have to reduce or i can just simply delete this one let me just make it with three only again press ctrl d bring it here bring it here all right i'm going to add some shadow effect here for that i'm going to create a, a rectangle maybe this size make it no outline and I'll use some gradient fill I'll delete I'll keep only two points and just maybe I'll bring it here increase the size and for this I'm just going to give some darker color and this I'll use some light color and give more transparency and I'll say send to back okay maybe you can reduce and right press ctrl D same thing bring it to the corner and send to back press ctrl D and this also send to back all right now I'm just uh, going to add the text which I have added here some text here I'm just going to copy this one press ctrl C and ctrl V and you can bring the text here ctrl D make it this is second and press ctrl D make this as third. Now you can change the color 
for example if you want to have some different color go to format and you can just select some different colors here and this you can just say send to back all right now i'm just going to give some uh, headings here some titles here so for this is sorry option one make it bold and you can give the same color this will be my option two which is this color and this is my option three which is green color and then you can add some details here which is i've just copied here and this one if you want to add one more so you can just select all and just group it and you can reduce the size maybe like this all right and then ungroup this and then you can just add one more also here and you can just change some different color same thing press ctrl d and bring it here so this will be my fourth option and change the color to the blue all right so this is how i have just created the the slides here so that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel always vfx see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye